everyone. Welcome to NCTC's Home Improvement and Design segment. I am your host, Chrissy Jenkins. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a little DIY project with a lampshade. And what you need is paint stirrers, and these were provided by Tux Building Supply in Lafayette. And you will also need your choice of spray paint. I went with white and turquoise. You will need a light fixture pendant converter. You can find these at your local Lowe's. And you will also need a glue gun and glue sticks. And of course, a lampshade. Okay, y'all, let's get started. What we're gonna start with first is we're gonna paint our paint stirs. But being so we don't have enough time for the paint to dry, I went ahead in advance and I made some of these that we're gonna put on our lampshades. But let's get started because I wanna give you guys a tip on the spray painting. So we start with our lighter color first and we are going to spray paint our paint stir just like so. And just a small tip for you DIYers out there, if you don't have the spray gun gun, get you one. It makes spray painting a lot less messy and easier as well. So I'm gonna pull this off, and then I'm going to apply it to my turquoise. Now, typically you would wait for the white paint to dry, but in our case, because of time, I'm gonna give you just a little bit of tip. Because on your lampshade, you want different colors of turquoise. You don't want it to be the same size all the way around. So we're just gonna do a little bit here and a little bit there of the turquoise. So here we go. We're gonna spray just a little bit, just like that. It's not hard, don't make it hard. It's very simple, easy peasy. And let me give you an example. Here we have a paint stirrer where the turquoise comes halfway up. Then we have a paint stirrer where it's just a little bit. And see, it's not perfect, but that's really what gives it character. That's what gives your lampshade character and just you, you know, you made it. So, okay guys, well let's get started on applying these paint stirrers to our lampshade. So this is a really easy process, friends. All we have to do is we have to take our glue gun and then we're gonna take the glue gun and we're gonna glue these uh, paint stirrers to the lampshade. So let's get started. All right. You need about 37 paint stirrers. Make sure your glue gun is nice and hot. But don't burn yourself. We talk about that a lot on our little segment, don't we, guys? And then we're gonna just glue our paint stirrer on here. And a little tip is when you install your um, pendant light, make sure that you've had time for your glue to dry. But also, if you go with an LED light bulb, they don't put off much heat at all. So I always encourage to use those type of light bulbs and it saves energy. So it's cost efficient for you. Like I said, friends, this is so easy. And also try not to put all paint stirrers the same. Try to go with the ones where you took your spray paint and you sprayed a little here and then you sprayed a little here. Just sort of just mix it up a little. It gives the shade just a, some character and you know friends you can also um, go with pink like the light blush pink for uh, nurseries you new moms out there and you're wanting one of those fun expensive pendant lights you could paint these cream and then you could go back over the top with like that blush pink color and that is really really pretty as well and I debated about going with that color but I had the turquoise they are handy, so I just chose to go with that. But I love turquoise and pinks and um, greens. Greens is a new trending color now. We, um, we got away from green there for about 10 years, didn't we? Well, it's back. The emerald greens. You could even do that color with one of these with some gold touches. Because we all know I love the gold, the brass sequence and things like that. Let me turn this around for you guys so you can sort of see. If you want the paint stirs to be straight, just try to keep them straight. If you want a little slant like I did, you can do a little slant. Um, you really, you can just, you know, you can't go wrong with this. This is just a nice fun project that's easy and it's going to add a lot of character to your space. 
So when we get done here, I'm gonna show you guys just a little area that I decorated in this particular home. And by the way, this is one of my homes that I have for sale in Lafayette, Tennessee. Stay tuned for next month's segment and we are going to decorate this house and have it on the home improvement and design segment. Let's see, we just have just a few more to go. And in order to save time, I went ahead and did a lot of this DIY project. <clears throat> but honestly, it takes about, mm, about 30 minutes probably to get this project done, minus the dry time. But you know, since we're starting to have sunshine again, yay, you can just spray paint these and then run in the house and uh, cook supper and then go back out. And, You'll have your um, paint stirs dry. Let's see, where do I want the finished one to be? There we go. I think I'll go with this one. I think I will. I really like the shorter color a lot with this project. I think it looks snazzy. So we're gonna glue that on there and then let's get started with the pendant. Okay, let's recap just a little bit. So we started with a lampshade. We had paint stirs, approximately 35 to 40 paint stirs. We painted those, we let those dry. Then we took our glue gun and we glued those to our lampshade. Now let's move to the pendant. Like I said, these pendants can be bought at your local Lowe's. So this is what we do, is we just unscrew this little adapter, oops, and we are going to go under the lampshade and then we just hook it in. So simple, so easy. Let's stand on my tippy toes here just a little bit to screw that in there. And I'll show you guys. See there, we hook it on the hardware of the lampshade and then we pull the cord out. It's a little tricky, but it can be done. No one said DIY had to be very easy, but it is pretty easy, it really is. And it saves you a lot of money because these little light fixtures, these little light pendants are expensive to buy. All righty, and then here we go. Now that we have the light pendant installed, check it out when we turn the lights on, voila. Okay, y'all, check out this bird cage. It's a bird cage. We took the bird cage out and we installed our hanging pendant in here. Does that not look awesome or what? This awesome bird cage is from Apple Bottoms. It can be purchased there. We just basically took the cage out and we've hung our pendant in here, as you can see, and I love it. I think it looks great. It just adds a touch to this little corner of the room of this home. And I also want to draw attention to just a little area that I've decorated in this particular home that's for sale. What I did is I took a corner of the kitchen and instead of having, um, you know, a console here or a china cabinet, I did a little seating area. So we have our colorful bench and we have our pinks with our turquoise. We have a little sitting table where you can put your glass of coffee and maybe a book. And then we have our lights. Thanks everyone for tuning in to our home improvement and design segment. I hope you guys are learning some fun decorating tips and some fun DIY tips. Just stay tuned. We'll see you next month. See ya. Bye.